with Sharif, the Lion Bogadir, the top lightweight prospect in his division. And um, we want to catch up with you and see how life's been. I know you're coming off of um, a year where you had to kind of get yourself together. You're coming off of an injury, but you're back and you're ready. So tell me how training camp has been for you. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, Sharif the Lion is back. <laughs> He's back to take care of business. I would like to thank God, you know, he has given me another chance in life, you know, it's a blessing, you know. I'm thankful, I'm healthy again, I can't wait to get back in that ring and fight. Training has been really good, you know, I've been sparring with a lot of tough fighters, undefeated, a lot of different guys. I've, I'm prepared very well to go on there and uh, put on a great show. I'm excited for you to get back in the ring, first and foremost. Um, your last victory was in September last year at the Cosmo, and it was a TKO victory. So you're 29 and 1, 20 knockouts. So what is it about the Lion? Like, what is it about you that just kind of like once you get in the ring, you just unleash something that you just have so much power? Oh, uh, you know, Christo, I've been fighting since I was young. You know, since I was seven years. You know, eight, seven years. You know, and uh, my dream was to be on big stage. You know, so when I get that chance, whenever I get into that ring. I go there to take care of business, you know, that's what I do. When I go in there, I got to be smart, go there to win. My number one thing, go there, win one round at a time. When the knockout comes, comes. But when I get in there, I transform. I might be a sweetheart right now, but when I get in there, I transform into a lion. And that's why they call me Sheriff the Lion Bogel. Absolutely. Now, has there been any challenges during this training camp, um, especially coming off of an injury, um, anything that you've kind of had to overcome? I'm sure it makes things a little bit more difficult. So. Um, you know, since I got injured, I never really took no time off. Okay. I was boxing in crutches. You know, I have some footages, you know. I was boxing with one leg, you know, just hitting the back. I sent me with some footages and stuff. The one got some footages of me. So, I mean, I've been, you know, keeping myself in shape, you know. I, my weight didn't blow up that much, you know. And uh, when my legs get better, I was able to get back on the road and start running so I could cut down weight. But uh, at the end of the day, it's about being patient. It's about being patient in life, you know. Don't let, I, I didn't let this injury take the best of me. I'd stay patient and, uh, Pain is temporary, you know, things happen for a reason. Yes. Uh, now, is there anything specific that you've been doing to kind of prepare for your opponent, or is it just kind of the same game plan as usual? Uh, really, you know, we've been working a lot on different things, you know. My trainer has been making me a, a better, perfect, you know, patient fighter, you know. So, people are going to see in future the best of me, you know. Okay. It's, I'm coming, you know, this injury, just made me stronger, you know, just made me stronger. So I'm ready to get back in there with the big birds, right. you know. Okay, so you're back to get to that next spot to get that title shot. Yes, yes, I can't wait, you know, I can't wait. And uh, I'm so hungry to get in there, destroy these guys. I don't know if you heard the word destroy. I'm going in there, destroy these guys. You're going to destroy his guts.